What's up everyone, Tina here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create abandoned cart emails for Shopify, but within the CRM, how to integrate Shopify and how to disable the automated Shopify emails. Why would you want to do this within the CRM instead of in Shopify? Well, within Shopify, you do need to have some coding skills in order to edit the abandoned cart emails. To make it easier for you, I will show you today how you can create those emails within the email builder as well. All right, so first you want to log into your Shopify account. Then you want to hover over to add apps on the left and you'll see this pop-up coming. Click view more and this page will open up. Go to the top right hand corner and go to manage apps. Then this page will open up. At the top you want to click develop apps. Then you want to click allow custom app development. Then you want to click allow custom app development. Then click create an app. Select a name for your app for example lead connector then hit create app. Then click configure admin API scopes. Then scroll down until you find orders right here and enable read order then scroll down to products and enable read products. Scroll back up to the top, hit save. Then click on install app, click install. Now we have an API access token here. We need to reveal it. Click on reveal token once. Then copy the API access token by clicking this mini icon here. Then we want to go to our location backend. We're going to go to settings on the bottom left. We're going to look for integrations on the left. Then scroll down, click connect on Shopify and here paste the API code. And then the name you will have to add your Shopify store name. If you do not have a Shopify store name just yet, please make sure you either purchase the URL or if you want to create a C name, a subdomain, you'll have to go into your domain service provider and create that real quick. Here's our sample domain in Namecheap, for example, you just select the domain, you go to advanced DNS and then you select a C record here. Our subdomain is shop dot and the value is shops.myshopify.com. That's how you need to set up that C name. Hit connect and you are connected. Now we're going to go ahead and create that workflow so we can send those abandoned card emails to our potential customers. So go over to automation on the left and workflows at the top. Create a new workflow for now. Start one from scratch. Let's name it Shopify demo. Hit save. Then we want to add a new trigger. Scroll down to Shopify and select abandoned checkout. Now we can also create a filter how many minutes after they've abandoned the checkout should this workflow be triggered. So 10 minutes is a good duration, hit save trigger. And then the action, I would suggest you start with an abandoned checkout tag so you can segment your list. Abandoned checkout, for example, right here. Then we can send our email, send email. And then the templates, I would suggest you select a template, which I'm going to show you right now how you can create that. So let's hit save for now. Hover over to marketing on the left. Go to emails at the top and click templates. That's where we create email templates. Let's create a new one. Let's take blank template, design editor. Let's name this Shopify email, save template. And here we have the shopping cart feature. You can drag and drop that into your email and you can see the products popping up right here. And here we can say one-time discount, for example, right? If you want to send a discount for them to take action because they have abandoned the checkout. So go into the preview text as well and say, you can't miss this. Hit save, save template. Then we go back to workflows, automation, click on recent, select your workflow. Now we want to add an action, click on email. And here in the templates, we can now type Shopify email that pops up right here. Always make sure you send yourself a test email to see how it looks like, if all the links are working, if there's any spelling mistakes. If you're fine with everything, hit save action, publish the workflow and hit save. Now, once somebody abandons a checkout within Shopify, they get tagged with abandoned checkout and the email gets sent with a special discount. Now this trigger is abandoned checkout trigger, right? So if you wanted to create two different email sequences within one workflow, you can just simply select another trigger, scroll down to Shopify and select order placed, hit save trigger, remove the abandoned one, simply just when some order is placed, then add an if else action. And under the first branch, you can select Shopify. And here you have many different options. If you want to divide it by product ID, product name, the total price, the total discount, and so on and so forth. Let's say product name right now contains, and let's say Christmas sales right here. Then rename the branch contains Christmas sales. Then the other one does not contain Christmas sale, for example, hit save action. And here you can see this, right? On the left branch, you can see if the order contains Christmas sales, then add this particular tag and send this particular email. If the order does not contain Christmas sale, then send another email, for example, select your template, hit save. On another side note, if you wanted to send just an order confirmation, for example, then your trigger is order placed, right? And you want to add an action step, which is an email. 
scroll down and here you can actually pull the custom values from within your Shopify store. So click on that, scroll down to Shopify and you can see all the values that are available from Shopify. Here, for example, you can add the date, you can add the total price, you can add the shipping address, where it's going to be sent to, you can determine the currency, maybe even a discount code and so on and so forth. Before you hit save, make sure you put a subject line, which could also be the order number, for example. Go to Shopify and select number, cut and paste it in the subject line. Hit save again, publish and hit save. It's just another way how to send emails. Also, please remember to turn off your marketing emails within your Shopify account. To do so, click on the marketing tab on the left, click on automations, then you will find your running campaigns, find the campaign in question, in this case, the abandoned checkout, click on the three dots on the right and click on edit settings and turn it off that way. And that's it already. This is how you set up abandoned cart emails within the CRM itself instead of in Shopify. I will see you in the next video.